The Prime Minister's presence in Leh marking the start of the expansion of the Nadzap airport drew attention to the concerns of Nadzap landowners who feel left out in the 900 million Kina development project. And this is not the only group of landowners that could prove too vocal to ignore. While other cabinet members tried to ease the concerns, the lingering debate over the dumping of mine waste was brought to the PM's attention yet again. Marapa's response was that consultation isn't over. And if there's some issues on the ground, we'll get more consultations. That's something I can I give for people to be fully aware of what is happening. And for us as national government too, at my level in cabinet, we are not fully briefed yet from uh, environment and conservation. For the government, Wafi Golpu has to happen. And for communities along the Huon coast, it is an environmental risk and there hasn't been adequate consultation. Two weeks ago, the environment minister, Wera Mori, visited the communities in the Huon Gulf. Some were not included in his schedule. He told the media that a decision had not been made on whether tailings would be dumped into Morbe waters. The PM says the project comes at a cost to the environment. Well, mining operation has a cost to environment. And so it's up to every uh, our landowners, provincial government as well as national government, what is the least damaging mode of discharge to the environment is something that we must accept. And to another series of projects in Morobe, the fisheries minister signed a memorandum of agreement with the provincial government. Dr. Lino Tom said later the discussions about the tailings was something they had not talked about with other government agencies, but he would be taking the discussion to food. cabinet. So we'll, we'll actually uh, push our agenda to make sure that we have a balance there that, um, you know, like we don't let um, suit ourselves in the food, so to speak. Scott Wyde, National MTV News, Lay.